how's it going fellas i'm Otis, and this is another episode of mortal kombat 1 and in today's episode we're in outworld already and we're playing with gears who i swear to fucking god if he has some kind of a weakness against every single enemy here or every single enemy in this location is strong against gears i'm gonna be really fucking mad what exactly is gears using he's using fists that's his specialty so that's good, because that means he's neither good against everyone, but he's neither bad against everyone. And there's also Jax. Who also uses the same ability, so that's pretty cool. Seen him plenty. Jax looks kind of cool in this game. He looks like... That fucking actor whose name I forget. Shit. Can't remember. Anyway, I don't really like Gears all that much, but I don't know, I decided to pick him. So I'm gonna show you me kicking Sub-Zero's ass. <clears throat> I did manage to do that. But I had to beat him as Scorpion, because, you know, fire is ice's weakness. So, look, here, here you go. Finish him.
See, I would have fucking struggled there for ages as rain because he was using fucking ice and electricity, which I mean it wasn't super weak against Sub Zero, but it wasn't very fucking powerful against him either. Alright, he's got some some moves. Not too bad, I guess. I mean rain also only had like three fucking combos. Some shit I did. And Garrus deals a lot of damage. One thing that does kind of sucks about Garrus is that he doesn't really have a projectile. It's a lot of like parry fucking moves and like moves that I don't even know what the fuck he do. That's a different fucking combo that he didn't show me. The fuck? Why is the combo list unfinished? Square triangle square does a combo like this. But triangle square triangle also did a combo. It was just like the opposite. What the scares outro looks like. You know, I can totally see this being a fucking 80s movie. So I'm like police officer, which is Jax in the 80s, he's all cool, hip, smokes cigars, he's a badass, teams up with some kind of ancient Egyptian deity, and they become best friends. And you know, Jax is full of one-liners and funny jokes, while the while Garrus has no idea what the fuck's going on, but he's the more powerful one. Something like that, that'd be funny. I'd watch it. Yeah, I really hope this episode... Oh, fuck my life. This episode doesn't end up being this fucking long. Oh, what? Garrus. Against Garrus. Why the fuck I did some... Sh cross my arms like I fucking didn't gape a shit. I really don't understand some of Garrus' moves. They're just fucking weird. We both did the same fucking thing. It's like, goddamn. This is a cool move, though. It's like, fuck off, dude. I tried to just do fucking move. I'm already kind of fucking mad. It's like Garrus is very powerful up close, but not very powerful while well, he's far away. What is this fatality like? Is it fun? Well, I think he has a pretty cool one. Fatality. It's not all that gory and that... That thing he does at the end with the legs looks kind of goofy as fuck. Oh my god, I got another fucking booster already. You know what, the good thing is, is that we're getting more powerful as we go on. And there's one thing that you can do that makes you really fucking powerful. Which I could do this episode, I guess. I mean, you know what, maybe next episode we'll not go into the next Mesa. Instead we'll go into... It's like Special Tower Mesa, I guess. Gotta keep in mind that fucking thing damages you as well. That one's powerful as fuck. <laughs> Just clocked her in the face. Ah shit. Oh, I fucked it up, I got a drink here though. It's called Tiger. How the fuck do you read that? Baylayla? B-A-I-L-A-E-L-L-A. 
Bela? I don't fucking know. Can't even fucking read that shit properly. I opened the can and it reeked of bubblegum. Yeah, I guess it's bubblegum flavored. <clears throat> I feel like Tiger hit another bubblegum flavored drink, or unless, unless that was someone else. But it's not that great. It's alright. I guess. Fight. Yeah, we fight a bunch of Melinas, Garrises again. If you don't remember, second up bonus episode in this series, we just fought Garrus over and over again. You know what, I gotta fucking, like, only one move out of all these is one I'm gonna be using. The fucking sandstorm one. But it's like, calm the fuck on, really? Time stopped us some bullshit. What the actual fuck is this damage? Why is it... Oh, it's 120. Point. <laughs> what is this? What the fuck? Why is there like one... How much? 10,000? Additional point of damage. It was... Oh, that's the fucking move. Oh, that's a pretty cool fucking... This discovering move. I like it. I like moves that send the character forward. Alright, Gareth is actually becoming a bit better than my eyes. I did not play Gareth at all in 11. I have no idea if any of these things are reoccurring. I just do not remember him one fucking bit. But I'm already enjoying him a lot more than Rain. Rain just felt pretty fucking shitty. He was very powerful against Ashra though, so if we ever had to fight a boss fight against Ashra, I guess I could keep in mind that Rain is very good against her. Yeah, what did I do today? Can I tell you any stories? Any work-related stories? No, it was pretty boring. I only built like very... I only built these two pretty small looking shells. And it took me a whole day. It took me a whole day on purpose because I didn't felt like doing anything else. Ah, oh, fucking really? Fucking Darius, man. I could have put Darius on, as my new best friend. But I don't like Darius. He sucks. He's like a shittier version of Jack. Therefore, I want to play as Jack. Darius, you piece of shit. How the fuck you do that? Most cameos that you have at your disposal are very simple, you know, they just like appear, do an attack, and then they disappear. Darius, on the other hand, seems to just fucking join in on the fight and just never leave. Thank Jack. He fucking threw a cigar at her. What the fuck? How did I do that? That was fucking awesome. Oh yeah, we gotta do a Jack Fatality too. Fatality sucks. It's pretty stupid. I don't remember if it's a reference to his original Fatality. I thought... I thought his original Fatality was him like slamming someone's head and then it just explodes. But I guess not. And if you don't remember what his Fatality was, then I guess we're about to find out. You know what, I'm actually satisfied with my choice for once. Garrus seems pretty fucking dope. Fight. Also, it's fucking cool. I really like that they made Garrus a good guy. Because they could have easily get rid of Garrus. But they were like, you know what, Garrus is supposed to be the, like, guardian of the hourglass. And since Liu Kang's the one with access to the hourglass now. Also, Nisara is very cool to play as. Which, even though story-wise, she doesn't matter one bit. Oh, fuck off with these stupid tornadoes. Also, once again, something I learned that's very useful in my let's play is that when you have a combo that ends with a grapple, you can actually do it with L1. You don't have to press square and X like the game tells you to do. Ah, it's a great fucking move, but she's actually really fun to play. Could have picked her now that I think about it. And I could have picked Garrus for the previous episode. I did like this, the same move, 
But I can send Toxic and Dell into a wall. How did I get that? Might have been a more powerful version. No, I just did a more powerful version of this move, and that's how it ends. ended. See, nobody's strong against moves that are just simply based on physical power. And Garrus doesn't use any elementals. I mean elementals, any elements. So he just kicks fast, and that's it. I love him for it. Thank you, Garrus. Now what the fuck? Tanya's kind of cool to play as too. I noticed a pattern that characters that are not very good in the story, like Havoc, Reiko, are actually really fun to play. Yeah. Just that in the story, they matter very little. Far Bigfoot. See, we gotta go far. Uh, I almost fucked it up. Take it over, Jax. I don't really do anything in this uh, work. Oh, my neck. I also don't have any new revelations in Animal Crossing to tell you because I didn't really. I mean, I did play it, but nothing really. Nothing really happened. I feel like the problem is that I only have time to play some video games like when I. like in the late evening. So I'm lying in bed, turning on Animal Crossing, and then it turns out that, oh, look, all my residents and everybody is already gone to sleep. I got nobody to talk to in my village, because they all fucking went into their houses. You know what, I bet he has some more fucking moves. Follow-up exam. Oh, it's like the same... Is it the same? How does it work? Oh, that's dope. Barack is dope to play as well, because you can see. He has one combo that's basically mashed the fuck out of circle. And it's probably the best combo in this entire game. Baraka might be second best character right after Scorpion. Actually, I dare to say that he's probably the best. Or at least the most fun to play as when you start the game, because... Well, that's the thing, he has very easy combos that are very cool and fun to do. And his moves are pretty easy too, and he has like a lot of ground covering moves where he just runs forward while attacking. Shit's awesome. Also, I like this map. Sundo is cool, but... I'm a huge fucking fan of desert locations like this, like Mad Max, Borderlands, stuff like that. Whenever I see a desert, I like it. That's why our probably fucking love Elder Scrolls 6 is, from what we know, it's gonna be set in a deserty location. Because it's meant to be Hammerfell, if I'm not mistaken. How much fuck? You know what, Jax's moves aren't very really good. Well, whatever, I found a good character, but I didn't find a good cameo. See, Ashra's not weak against me now. Oh wait, I did the wall move, I'm not sure how I fucking did it though. No, that's a parry, maybe it's like this. Oh, that was like an overhead attack. I'm not sure how I did that wall move from earlier. I have to fuck it up, but I bound to find some cool shit. Fatality. Man, Ashra didn't deserve that, she's cool. Garrus, you sick son of a bitch, why you do that? Gotta treat everyone like that, it's awful. I think there was a shop to the right. Oh uh, yeah, there's Bob. And there's some other path to be taken. Fight. I feel like this episode really isn't going to take me as much as the, the other one did.
Melina's cool too, but we played as her. There was an entire chapter we played as Melina, so... I want to keep every character in this game a third chance. And that means I gotta beat the game again, because I don't have Havoc. Because for some fucking reason, Havoc is the only character that's lost. Also, I love the visual effect of Gareth throwing something, and then another Gareth from the future shows up, only to take the previous Gareth's place. That's very clever. Whoops. Whatever. Whatever. I mean, look at this, this them posing together. It really does look kind of funny. Gareth's eyes are glowing and he looks fucking scary and powerful. Well, Jax is smoking a cigar, flexing muscles, smiling. Could have been a great movie. Why the fuck you didn't make that? You should make the next. Mortal Kombat will be dead. Well, you know what? Apparently, who is it? Carl Urban is supposed to play Johnny Cage. And I don't have anything against that because, well, all the casting choices. Like, everybody always has these, you know, casting choices that they would want to see Mortal Kombat characters as. But they never came through any of them. Yeah, that could have been a bit further reaching, but maybe that would be broken. Even if I got hit, doesn't matter. This was really sick. It's really easy to do and there's a lot of damage. Oh, I missed that. Son of a bitch. There we go. So after work, I went and picked up some that set of chairs from a uh, uh, fuck from some you know fucking store. And I've also got a call from that one friend of mine who got fired. Not because of some bullshit. Re oh yeah, I wasn't using my new fucking heat frost talisman. I don't even know what the fuck it does. Fire fists. I'm not doing using that. I got two legendary ones. Energy Orb and Flaming Skull. Can I level these up to be... Oh, I can get them to be epic. This one doesn't change anything, but the probability of it working out is high. I'm gonna take those chances. If I break my own medallion, that'll be a fucking bummer. And can I pull this off with another one? No, it will not give it to an epic rank. I want to level this up to be epic. Do you think one more of these would be enough? I don't know. I don't know if you can upgrade these. I mean, they're already legendary. I can just give them like bonus properties, I guess. That's not bad. This one, I'm not even doing anything with. What the fuck is this music? Oh, I guess it's just the music in the menu. It's fucking stupid, though. I know there's another path we could have taken, but I missed. But this loops around and we can actually come back. Also, there's two Tarkatans playing with a cactus in the background. The backgrounds are very funny. Scared is goofing around. Especially in Johnny's Mansion, everybody was goofing around that one. Remember how Drake always kicked my ass in, at rain? 
Well, I don't know if my arm sucks this stupid bullshit. God damn it. It's actually a bit distracting. I was looking at the carrot and then he disappeared all of a sudden. I was completely not expecting him to just disappear. Up and vanish. Yeah, my Animal Crossing adventure hasn't been very... I went to an island and I met a monkey called Delhi. And I told him to move on my island, but he didn't. Something blew up in front of Garrus, I can't even see him. And yeah, there was some stupid yellow smoke, which apparently reverses the controls, and that's fucking awful. Speaking of reverse controls, I remember the finale, the final episode of my Rayman Let's Play. Yeah, I do have a Rayman Let's Play, like Rayman 1 on PS1. I have it recorded, it's on my disc. I just need to do commentary and upload it. So stay tuned for that. If you care, of course. If you don't, then go fuck yourself. And in that, the finale, there's a part of it which reverses the game's control. And you know what's the best part about that? I straight up can take the controller and hold it upside down. The fuck was that? It didn't do shit. Oh, I think it did something, but it did it so fucking slow, I didn't even notice. Oh, it made some ice appear. What if I kick him into the ice? Well, nothing. I, he just straight up stood in it, and nothing happened. Finish him. And Garrus, you fucking awesome. I got a one complaint with Garrus. All his customization kind of sucks so far. He doesn't have any skins that look better than people. It always makes me curious, like, when you have a character, let's say Garrett, for example, and he has a design, you know, in the story, that's how he appears. He looks like that in the story mode. And that's his default appearance. So that's the appearance of Garrett they set on being the canonical appearance of Garrett. But then you unlock all these fucking fancy outfits for Garrett. So what made them decide that this is the outfit that he's gonna use? And not any of the other ones they made. Oh, this is fucking locked. I can get in here. Well, that's good, actually. You know what? Once I unlock that orb, I don't know if I'll actually bother to fucking do this shit and show you. Maybe I'll just... You know, on this account, I probably won't bother to do it at all. On my, on my other account, I'll probably go back and... Excuse me, where the fuck is the game? That ain't fun, what the fuck? It's the blindness on me, that shit sucks. Man, you're just fucking slow. So what exactly triggers my blindness? It seems to be random. I'm also happy that they made Melina a good guy. He's like... He didn't do the reverse. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. What if, like, Sonya and Jack and the people would actually be bad guys? They kind of did that in X when a lot of good characters got turned into remnants and then they became bad. Well, I finally did it. I think he's got some more moves. Redo, that's the one I don't know how to do. Countdown. Oh, what the fuck is that? Her. Made a fucking hourglass appear in the sky. Not sure what the fuck that did though. Trying to think of all the stuff I did today that I could tell you about. Oh yeah, so he called me and it turns out that he's putting together furniture now. So I was joking that no, he kind of does the same thing he did before. Just with wood now instead of metal. 
Survive. It's a very difficult challenge. Who designed this? That was it. I just stood in place. Gears wins by doing absolutely nothing. Oh, I got a Tarkatan scale. For my scaly cosplay. I'll cosplay reptile, but not the current reptile. Oh yeah, I knew that it was gonna be a tower. Some towers have an animation introducing them as if it's gonna be the toughest shit you ever faced. Some of them don't. You know, Garrus might be a really good fucking main. At least for invasions, because he's using a very basic ability, meaning that nobody's stronger against him or weak against him. So he's very balanced. Or like fucking rain. I wonder if rain would be better in this chapter if I actually take him again. Oh, I did that fucking wall move. How did I do this? I just pressed forward. Go back. Damn it, purple fans, Jax. No, I don't know how the fuck I did that. Finish him. I'm not the biggest fan of uh, them re retconning the, the Tarkatan race into a disease. Because what kind of a fucking disease gives you arm blades and also makes your teeth look like this and makes your ears pointy? It's fucking stupid. Sh I don't know, maybe they should have said that Tarkatan are like people who've been experimented on. Maybe they should have. Oh, maybe this is actually. Interesting concept I just thought of. What if Tarkatan disease is actually man-made? Because maybe Shang Tsung fucking made it. I don't know if they ever established that disease being like a new plague that showed up out of nowhere. Maybe Shang Tsung had something to do with it. That's why he was so interested in Tarkatan. Or maybe they just thought it would be different. And not much more than that. This guy doesn't have a projectile, but the, this attack is pretty good. Let me not get the fuck out of here. She's a silver fox. I haven't even edited the last episode because I just really did not fucking felt like sitting through my footage. And speeding up fights. I will do it, maybe today. It's just fucking awful. I don't fucking feel like doing it. And maybe today I'll actually finish Fight. the invasion from my other characters. I think what I'll do is finish these bonus episodes. And then I'll wait until the Halloween arrives so I can make my Halloween special. Oh, who should I play as in my Halloween special? Probably Tapic or Baraka to this game. I guess Sub Zero would be the only choice for my Christmas special. I mean, he was. I did call these specials as MKX and MK11, and I think in both cases, Christmas specials were Sub Zero's. And MKX, I played as Jason for my Halloween special, while in 11, I played as the Cybot. Oh, yeah, the Cybot was fucking awesome in 11. Fatality. Gears wins. I didn't really spend much coins, actually, in between episodes. I only bought some stuff I thought was nice looking, but a lot of the stuff I felt like we could easily just not fucking get because it's just not worth it. 
Like, there's so many, like, on my other account, I fucking bought everything there is to buy. Just to have it. Well, I won't even be using most of it, but... But on this account, I would only like to buy things that I would really want. And not just everything I fucking can. I feel like that's a better way to approach this. Look, we're entering like a market place. That's cool. Fight. I don't know why I jumped. I'll fucking stop reversing my moves and then unreversing them. That's so fucking annoying. I wanted to punch. I did a grapple. Can you fucking not? Jesus Christ, can you not do this shit? I'm. I pressed circle and I'm doing grapples. I can't do a fucking combo. I'm triggering my fucking. Triggering jacks for no reason. I'm walking backwards. I cannot do it. Good thing they all have shitty health. Also, Jax, along with Shang Tsung, in my opinion, fixed the kick for the best facial capture in the story mode. There's a lot of things where he, instead of saying stuff, just makes a facial expression that expresses what he wants to say. Just like Shang Tsung in his smug fucking grin. It's a very punchable face in this game. That's an unfortunate thing to have, a punchable face. Clue, flipping out. See, I feel like sometimes there's these barricades that uh, are blocking a chest and you gotta do something specific in a flight to unlock a path. In this one, they give me a clue, flipping out. I don't know what the fuck they meant by that, but... I imagine if I got the clue and actually did do it... Then I would get something cool. One thing I really don't like in this game, what the fuck is with all these gamer-looking masks for ninjas? Scorpion is fucking Lin Kuei, not a fucking... Face clan. Why would he be wearing some fucking mask with like seemingly fans attached in, into it? Especially Reptile. Like Reptile's entire uh, outfit is made of leather and like scales, and then he's wearing a fucking mask that's more advanced than anything else. In else world. Fight. It's like a ridiculous. Oh, so I can drop a speaker. Then for a moment. Oh, fuck off. Nothing loud. What an asshole. There's only one more. Oh, fuck off. There's only one more uh, cameo to unlock, and that's Mikaro. Who's okay, I guess. I cannot even fucking see. I don't know if it's just because I'm powerful or something, but you can see that I'm not taking a lot of damage in these fights. I'm doing a lot of fucking damage, but I'm not taking a lot of damage. That's a good thing. Why the fuck would I struggle just like I did? Last episode is just ridiculous. It actually ended up being the exact same length as that the longest episode I ever did I talked about. Before I sped up the fight. Because, because that's my intention. I'm gonna take all these boring fights out of the second half of the episode and I'm gonna speed them up. Because to be honest, in the second part of that episode I just ran out of interesting things to say. So I'm not even saying anything interesting. I'm also not saying anything interesting in this episode because I just have nothing to fucking say. They announced, just as I started playing Animal Crossing recently, they announced an Animal Crossing Lego set. And you know what? If my sister will polite the ass when this comes out and I'll actually be available where I live, I'll definitely buy it. For her, of course, not for me. Why would I be playing with silly Lego creatures? I'm a grown up adult. What the fuck? What a combo. I didn't get a single brutality last episode. 
I also like Garrus because he actually punches with his fist. While well, Rain did a bunch of dumb and bullshit with his staff. I'll be honest with you, I don't like character to do that. He punched you with water most of the time, and that was fucking lame. His projectiles were slow, a lot of his moves were fucking slow, and he just would get his ass handed to him before he could pull them off. That was honestly annoying. Imagine him could do like really long fucking towers in this. They're like made of hate opponents or some shit. That's awful. What's up with our hands glowing? Also, you know what I just started doing recently that's kind of weird? And I don't have a good explanation for it. Since I have a Steam Deck and I got like a PS1 emulator on it. I'm just like, sometimes... Turning on CTR. And just like doing a race. Just like not doing story mode or like playing for CTR again. Now I'm just doing like a singular fucking race. Finish her. Just to kind of freshen up on my CTR skills. Also CTR let's play is also recorded then. All I have to do is just make commentary. And we did recently started, you know, doing all the Crash Bandicoot let's plays. Like I said, I'll have to re-record the PS2 ones, and the one I dread recording the most is Crash Tag Team Racing, actually. Because from what I remember, in those episodes of Crash Tag Team Racing, I actually... The episodes are pretty long. Some of them are like 40 minutes. I'm not this bullshit again. Fuck off! Just mashing the fuck out of buttons. It's pointless trying to memorize where the fuck you are and trying to predict what's going on on the screen. Just mash the fuck out of buttons while you go blind. Might as well. See, I hit her. She's doing some moves. I did some whatever the fuck that was. Or block a bunch, that's another good tactic. I did that stupid fucking wall move again, how the fuck do you do that? Uppercut, uppercut, come on. Finish her. Whatever. If I could somehow make this the thumbnail, that'd be pretty cool. But then I'd have to cover either Jax... I mean, I wouldn't fucking cover Garrus, it's his episode. That'd be pretty fucking lame. But maybe there's like a certain... Uh, frame in that animation where they both appear on one side of the screen. That'd be nice. Favorite daughter. Oh, that's a shame. Don't tell Katana. Some of the characters I didn't even bother buying any skin for because you actually unlock really. For example, you unlock such a fucking dope looking skin for um, Ashra in this invasion, which is like a. It gives her a hat, white hair, which I think is much nicer than black hair. And she also. Fuck, I'm trying to see some other shit. I did that grab move, but now it made a wall up here. How the fuck I did that any differently? I did this exact move. How did I make it where a wall appeared? I don't know. Oh, look. It worked. This fucking medallion sucks. That's nothing. Make some spikes appear and they may or may not freeze the enemy. Probably not, though. Alright, Garrus is fucking awesome. I had mixed expectations from him. Because last time I played a film, I thought he was pretty slow and I had a lot of 
special moves and didn't know how to fuck to use properly, but... You know what, he still might have some more moves, I should probably look this... look into this. I was saying something before, what the fuck? Something about Crash Bandicoot? Oh yeah, the Tag Team Racing has episodes. Tag Team Racing is such a weird game because some episodes they race, some episodes there's no fucking racing in a racing game where I just walk around pizza face. Where I walk around the fucking Luna, the fucking, you know, what the fuck is it called? I don't know, entertainment place. Fuck. Roller coaster park. Amusement park, that's the Damn it, tries to dodge the rope. Didn't work there. What an ass. Havoc's pretty powerful, actually. Hit this, like, one combo that breaks. I'm not sure what that means, I'm sometimes doing by accident, but... Oh, charging up that thing does a time tornado instead, yeah, that's interesting. Not sure how I'll ever use that in a fight. Why wouldn't I want instance tornado when I can just do that instead? I don't know, I bet some pro fucking players will explain to me how time tornadoes are way better. Alright. Pizza face done. like a lot of fucking mini games in that game where I think I actually did every single one of them and I got first place in every single one of them because uh, no fucking reason actually not to think about it the fuck I didn't meant to do that every single one of them got him but I think he's immune to ice because that did no damage to him Stupid. Still, can someone explain to me how did Darius actually end up in Outworld in the story mode? He looks like some jackass and somehow he teams up with Kavik. Is he actually not a human? He looks like a dumbass. And yes, Darius does have a fucking fatality. It's pretty stupid. Oh my fuck, god, he's whooping my ass, actually. Why? I just fought another Kavik and he wasn't this difficult. Fucking doing that head rip move. Suck. I should just keep doing this combo, I don't know why the fuck I'm avoiding it doing it. Oh, time will run out. Fuck my life again. Or oh, whatever. What matters is that I won. What's that? Blood armor. I don't care about the armor. What I care about is the... Orbs that just simply shoot projectiles. Because they're the best. They're quick and easy to use. Oh, another one of those. My favorite. Because you can see the medallion I currently just shoots a bunch of icy icicles from the sky and they're fucking suck ass. See these orbs are I think of dark magic orbs, so if I had a character who could use dark magic, he'd probably have a bad time.
but well, thankfully Gareth is not weak to ice dark magic. Also, I just noticed Jax has pouches on his waist. The fuck are you carrying in there? Extra cigars? Lighters? Lighter fuel? Matches? There's like a thing for cutting open cigars so you can properly smoke them. I don't know what the fuck it's called. I've never fucking seen a cigar in person. Let alone smoke one. Let me see, huh? Let me scroll. It's dope energy orb talisman. It's dope. These two can go the fuck to hell. I have over 10,000. Over 10,000 uh, dark orb. Buy it. I have over 10,000 coins, which means that I can actually level up myself quite significantly with a small little trick that I could do in this episode, but maybe I'll do it next episode, you know? I think I will. And I think next episode will actually not continue doing this uh, invasion. I'll actually do Damn. something different. And then we will do, of course, fucking smoke, really. Mark, don't you remember I have enough of your bullshit? Not another fucking smoke. What the fuck was that? I did not mean to use the stupid fucking talisman. Oh, come on. Did it anyway. Told him not to do that combo, didn't listen. Wait, quit coughing at me. I might catch it. Finish him. Alright, Smoke, I'm sick of your shit. This skin for Smoke with the hood on looks fucking stupid. The hood looks dumb. And that's so far the only other alternative skin for Smoke. Unless it's just one that I haven't seen yet. And yes, you can get the Yakuza outfit for Kenshi, which is the suit from the beginning. And you can get the Indiana Jones outfit for... Um, I think I've even shown you, haven't I? Maybe I didn't. Look, here's some Turcottons saying shit in the background. It's a halfway through boss fight, I think. I don't know, so far I'm doing pretty good. Oh, and you get this outfit for Melina, which is a very nice looking outfit. It was very jarring at first to actually hear Melina speak without her voice being all fucking crazy in the story mode what the fuck dark condom what is he do she doing I don't take drugs that's a bot. That's the fuck out of buttons, I can't see shit. That a fucking escape. Is that what she did? Injected herself with blindness? What am I fucking Kenshi IRL? I cannot see anything on the screen. Are you expecting to fight like this? I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing! I, I cannot see. I sometimes see a silhouette flying over the health screen. That means somebody's in the air. Maybe I can just get it to receive endless uppercuts.
Finish her. How long is this episode so far? 50 minutes? Ah shit, and I was for 50 minutes in, we're doing pretty good. I don't think it's close to the end yet. This is, like I said, halfway through boss fight against this Melina with a really nice outfit. Oh, I got Mataro, that's the last cameo, and I got the six skin for Melina. I got a fucking fire orb. And I got a cypher for her, that's cool. A secret fight. I didn't want it a secret Save. fight. But it's real game. Fight. It's not him yet. God of the realm. Yeah, you can get a lot of moves that are just making him fly across the screen. to do what other moves do we have inevitable countdown I don't think was good inevitable oh that's that hour's last move Finish him. right we got the hourglass move figured out How long does like one fight takes me in this game? Fatality. I mean, when I played it in the rain, it took me fucking forever, but I feel like now I'm doing much better. I got a fucking new orb talisman, that's dope. But you know what? Finishing this chapter will give me another legendary talisman, and I will probably be using that next episode. I think. Damn you sons of bitches, you already make me go over an hour. When I went into this, knowing, knowing fully well how this is probably going to end up looking like. Test you know, episodes are going to be very long. Like this. Just some random poor chap. I want Garrus being so pleased. It pleases me to see Garrus pleased. I'm happy I didn't get him killed. Wish every one of these invasions was just like half an hour long. Oh look, we're reaching another split path, but I'll reset the recording. I gotta keep in mind that I've shown you footage of me kicking stuff to his ass at the beginning. That actually takes well, about what the fuck is going on? I'm moving backwards. Ashra is still pretty weak though. I don't know. No, because it's one of those. Don't even fight three enemies at a time. You're, you're always weaker. But if I just fought Ashra on her own, she would not be this weak. No, don't fucking do that. It didn't even work. Come on. Finish her. Don't fight that is at the very every fucking fight probably does me no favors either but that does give some more XP brutally fucking mauling people to death now they came up with so many fucked up fatalities over the years they're bound to run out of 
really gory ideas. They should hire somebody like gore experts. Like some ho from Hollywood or some shit to come up with some extra spicy fucking fatalities because these ones so far are pretty okay. They're not bad. You know what? No, we're really close. If I went right, if I kept going right right now, I would end up actually going to the very end of this map. It's right to my. It's right next to me. I fucking missed it. That's not how I wanna fucking deal with this. Hey, I wanted to look up if some more moves. Denial, that was stupid. Sandstorm. Oh, I can do a close sandstorm. I just gotta. Well, that's cool. Keep in mind that I actually can change the distance the sandstorm does. So check this out. If I do this fucking combo. I actually did a sandstorm that went slightly further. Well now I failed to do the sandstorm. Oh, I'm not fucking around with Sandstorm. So you might not want to do the combo followed by slamming your opponent into an hourglass. Because you can then summon a clone. And a clone. You can then travel in time and do a grapple. It's all fucked through, you know? There's no moves that are just fucking stupid and useless. Even a move that seems to do nothing probably does some cool shit. It's not like some old Mortal Kombat, like Mortal Kombat Armageddon, where there's multiple characters that just use the same fucking moves. Can you imagine this game featuring that, where Garrus plays exactly the fucking same as Shao Kahn or some shit? Because in Armageddon they had so many characters, it was impossible for them to come up with special moves for everyone. Also, these PS2 Mortal Kombat games, that's, they really didn't grab my attention, because I'm just not a fan. I'm not a fan, oh Jesus, I'm not a fan of... ...of fighting games where you fight in like a 3D arena. I prefer much more fighting like this. You can only move left and right. I could have done the hourglass or do that cool fucking time traveling move. Finish him. I wonder how stupid, ridiculous, difficult, and long the next step. Actually, I still haven't went to the living forest on my other account. I ran out of things to buy, to be honest. I bought everything I liked. With all the money I made. And now I got no money left. I mean, no more items to buy left. It's fucking Reptile. I don't think we fought Reptile in this chapter just Fight. so far. I spawn. I'm sorry. I so you know what? I don't think we played or fought against Gears at all in the in the story mode. Oh wait a minute! Did we fought against the Dark Gears while playing a Shang Tsung. If not, then that would be the only opportunity in the story mode to play as Gears. Wow, that was fucking great. I wanted to do some fancy combos, but the game decided that I can't fucking move properly. Because of some bullshit modifiers. Wish I had some more fatalities. More than just fucking one. Man, I love this.
this game. It's great. I really like it. It's so much more simplified than 11 and I was kind of worried that instead of going more complex and even more shit in it, they made it more simplified, but maybe that's a good thing. Sentient orb. I'm not a fan of these sentient orbs. They can suck a dick. I got some cool blades for Baraka though. Some of the b blade designs you can unlock in this are just like... The, the designers forgot that these are supposed to be disease inflicted somehow because these blades look like they're a fucking custom design Survive. once again this shit is just fucking pathetically easy though now that I'm complaining of the fun crouching in the middle of the screen look how much damage it dealt to me it's nothing Jack just put a lighter up his ass. I just noticed that. That's a thing I always really liked in video games. How characters can pull shit out of just nowhere. So to say, they pull it out of their ass. Also that path over there, I think it led to a different fight? I don't want to skip on any fights. Oh man, this perspective really makes me fucking wish we had Shaolin monks. Maybe Shaolin Monks where you get to choose who you play as and Garrus is in it. Yeah, when Garrus was added in 11, I didn't thought he was some awesome Mortal Kombat edition. I thought he was a cool character, but... I wasn't expecting him to return and be actually really cool. He definitely earned my... Now that he's a good guy. Combo right. Finish them. We're very close to the end. All we gotta do is cross those bridges. Then we'll go left, and up the then we're gonna go right, and this should be the end of the level. So far we're doing pretty good unless I like fucking rain episode. Seriously, if on, in, unless I fought Asher or Havoc, rain did no fucking damage to anybody. And I so far did not have that happen with anybody. As Garrus, except that one Havoc fight, because for some reason he just wouldn't do damage. Now oh, this fucking Natara has some. has a lot of health actually. For some reason, she just stands still a lot. And I'm like not dealing a lot of damage to her for some fucking reason. Neither is she to me, but also sucks. Oh, maybe I'm not dealing any fucking damage because she doesn't take any fucking damage. People <laughs> walking in interrupting shit. Interrupting important moments. Look, timer's running out. Half her health disappeared. That means I could have won that sub zero fight last episode in. If I just simply drained more of his health than he did mine, which I was very close to. I still beat him. I shot, 
shown you. Look at Jax. The weird looking Jax, he looks like a wax figure. They should make that, you know how there's wax museums of like actors and stuff and important historical people. What if they made wax figures, wax museum of like video game characters? That'd be dope, I'd say. But I definitely want to visit. Oh, that's a cool looking Melina. She's got like dark and purple. Cool too because she's got teleports and shit. And she's very fast. I honestly think I like fast characters. Finish her. At least not as slow as Rain. Fucking Rain, man. Ne I'm never playing as Rain again. Fucking pissed me off and she sucks. Fatality. Who do you think is the worst fucking character so far in this game? I heard a lot of people shit on Tanya. But I don't know, I fucking had more fun as Tanya than Rain. You know, on my other account, when I was trying out Rain, I didn't get my ass handed to me so fucking badly, but I was still not doing very really good. But as Tanya, I was actually doing pretty fucking good. I fucking hate those stupid orbs he's doing. He's doing them all the fucking time. Let's see. How did I fucking do this version of that attack? Because every single other time I'm trying to do it, I'm always doing the normal version. It's really fucking funny how he just slams your fucking face into that. Look at that hourglass. Oh, there we go. It's fucking fucked up. See, I should end every fight with a brutality there. Then, every fight would end very quickly because then they don't do any fancy outro animation. I just simply say goodbye, and the fight's over, and there's a chest up ahead. Clue. Dead. The derf. What? The dwarf? Fight. I don't know what the fuck that means. Once again, I'll just do the fight and probably not get the fucking secret. Oh, come on. Difficult to pull off a float. Uh, stand and try to get a fucking uppercut while you're at it. You now it's screw you. You don't get a fucking fatality, fuck you.
know what? How the fuck that friend of mine got my phone number though? Because he didn't call me on Messenger or anything. He called me on my phone number. A while back, he was talking about going to Switzerland. Well, that didn't work out. And that's mainly the reason why they didn't renew his contract in my workplace. He tells everybody that he's gonna leave in two months. So obviously, they didn't want to fucking renew it for him. If he was gonna leave anyway. Which he didn't, because, you know, those are probably empty promises. Sounded very promising going to do for work. I mean, fucking who wouldn't want to do that? Maybe you can promise Switzerland, but then you're fucking privileged fuck, so shut up. And not tell me that it ain't the case. Now I do mean attacking people with shit that's in the background, that was always fun. Especially picking up old grandma. Whatever. Also, I think a lot of people, other than me, figured out that Madame Bo from the story mode is probably this timeline's version of Boraicho. I mean Bo, right? Boraicho. Madame Bo. Madame Boracho, basically, because she's the one who taught Raiden and Kung Lao how to fight, apparently. Because, you know, in the original timeline, they were Shaolin monks. In this timeline, they were just simple farmers before they joined Liu Kang and his fucking Shaolin order or whatever the fuck. So, yeah. I guess it's true. Damn it, there's these stupid fucking totems, and they seem, they seem to be the thing that does where I can't do fucking combos while I'm next. They have, they emit this stupid fucking whatever. I know it's Striker just made an appearance, and he's a dumbass character, but the thing about Striker in MK9 was that it was actually really fun to play as. Should the, I should probably do one more jack like that before the seven again. I'll do a jack fatality on the final boss. The fuck is that? See another stupid fucking shit got in the way. Oh man, I'm sitting here for way too long. I hate this. This why I get this over with and fucking play some Animal Crossing. I mentioned how I've been studying um, Korean, but I've been mainly using Duolingo and this app called Drops, because Duolingo teaches you a lot of, uh, you know, grammar and how to build sentences, while Drops teaches you a lot of, like, separate, just simple words and phrases. I mean, mainly words. Wait, did I beat that? I didn't beat that fight. Oh, there's a fucking tower, too. There's this fight, a tower, and the last, next fight is uh, the boss fight. Damn it, that didn't work. She almost did no damage to me. I'm fucked. A lot of the times, to be honest with you, I'm actually doing much better on a let's play than I do while I play on my own. I feel like doing commentary while I play actually somehow helps me focus. It's like I subconsciously focus on the game, I'm talking about the game, I'm playing it, I'm talking about it, I focus on the game, while I, sometimes when I play on my own, 
I might be playing the game, but I've been thinking about something else. Maybe something's fucking bothering, troubling me. Oh, shit. Which is, oh, for fuck's sake, I didn't meant to walk backwards. Um. I really didn't meant to walk backwards, and now I gotta deal with Garrus and this shit. He's got, what the fuck, he's got the same setup as me. Two Garruses and two Jacks. Garrus, what the fuck, Jack, what the fuck. Come on. Ah, he gets hit by his own fucking cameo. Oh, what the fuck? He did he did it twice. Get out of here. You know what? Screw you. You don't get the fuck inside. With dignity or rather with Dignity taken from you. I feel like I'm going fucking wild, but this episode still somehow ends up being really long. Permanent Grand Dark Resistance. That's dope. If I got a needle full of darkness, I would have fucking checked that shit right into my fucking brain. Garrus, I didn't really hit much trouble with the character who uses those stupid fucking armors. See, I don't know how the fuck it did that. Also, if you would, if you care, can you explain whether that's the case that I gain less experience if I don't use fatalities? Because if it is, if it isn't, then I won't bother to use fatalities all the time because they take a while. They kind of get repetitive when all I do is the same fatality over and over. Fucking unfair, isn't it? Well, I swear we get it. Never now standing in the perfect position, I might as well. You always get the best fatality because for some reason smokes you can just do whenever, wherever you want. You don't have to position yourself. Where did a demon from Netherrealm get such nice clothes? I suppose that doesn't really fucking matter, no does it? And who designed these clothes? She made them herself. She lived in Outward for a little bit, like the map. Maybe she got them. Oh fuck, Smoke is dead. Or Tomas. Excellent. Oh, look at that goofy smile. He's so happy. I find it funny that they actually bother to pronounce Smoke's name as Tomas. They don't call it Thomas. Thomas. Tommy. No, they call him Tomas. Fight. Fucking check. How many Europeans do we even fucking have in Mortal Kombat? Well, we got smoke. And it's fucking Cyrax. Sector. I'm always getting this fucking confused. They literally look the fucking. And they're two fucking robot characters. I'd say that Sub Zero and Scorpion look the fucking same, and they're literally two ninjas. Yeah, but one shoots fire and one shoots ice, it's easy to remember. Finish her. Their names represent what they are, you know? What the fuck? Oh well. Scorpion has a 
spears or things. Well, sub zero is ice, right? Because sub zero is temperature. It's very cold. Key. Skull key. There we go. I think we have access to the final area. Or rather, the final fight. I don't think there's actually more than just one area. Ah, shit. Really? I thought that was actually the final fucking fight of this place. Fight. I, uh... It's like this time I'm do have a long episode, not because I'm doing so fucking bad. I'm not doing bad. I'm pretty decent. But just because the chapter is long, but I think we're really close to the end, so. That should have a longer fucking range. Too bad. Didn't work out. I tried. I really did. Tried my best. But my best ain't good enough. You know, if I wanted to look like Jack, I'd have to take some fucking serious steroids. There's no fucking way I could achieve a body like that. Unless I fucking straight up dedicated my life. And all I ever did all day was fucking work out. That's actually what my scorpion looks like in my other account. And that's a nice skin for him. Scorpion, as always, is probably the best character in this game, though. I'm sorry, the best character is probably Garrus. A combo like this is fucking unstoppable. Alright, you know what? At this point, I don't even care how long this is. I got a fire orb talis talisman. Alright. Whatever you say. I think that's the second one I already got. Ah, oh, shit, this fucking garbage. I really thought this is for the episode ends. Like, I mean, the chapter ends. After that one tower we did, I thought that was, that was it. I hate how this strange locations soundtrack has like a ticking clock in the background. Well, I think that's where we just were in the background. That's kind of cute. Dragon blood. Oh, it's a component. I got a cool skin for Kitana. Ooh, I got a sick fucking skin for Raiden. Makes him look like an edgelord. It's like Raiden's evil twin brother. He's got a face tattoo, so you know he's different. I was always a sucker for media when I got a cartoon or something. There was like an evil version of a character, and all this, all they were was just like the same, like the main character, but like with some difference. Like either the color is being different, or like uh, this character has a scar. It was so simple, but I for some reason really liked it.
kind of like what Shadow was supposed to be to Sonic, because originally he was supposed to look straight up the same as Sonic, but like with the darker blue and with a scar on his face. But later they changed it, that's why in Sonic Adventure they keep talking about how everybody mistook. Everybody mistook. Sonic or Shadow. These episodes would be a lot fucking quicker if everybody didn't try to run away from me. Havoc, how many fucking times in a row are you gonna do the same fucking thing over and over? Fucking daily challenge or some shit? You gotta hit me with that attack? No, ain't gonna happen, bro. Fucking doing it every time. Yeah, I'm being more original with my attack and I'm fucking trying to, to utilize different ones. Look, every fucking time he gets up, he twitches. Do it. Getting ridiculous. And you didn't hold it up a single time. Havoc. What a bummer. Havoc scared the fucking sucks. I hate it. I hate it. Fatality. Gear is screens. What do you think of some other characters they should bring back? Into like the next Mortal Kombat. I think Mavaro. Definitely deserves a new, another chance. It's a pretty cool concept. So, what the fuck? I guess that's where I'm supposed to go. What about half over here? Oh, it's a test your might into the shop and a and a forge. Test I your see. Might. That's neat. Poor Reiko, what happened to him? Excellent. You know, at last episode we did a test your might and there was actually a Garrus head on a spike. But for some reason Garrus had hair. It got me thinking, like, did the face design? Doubles my acid damage. I'm not fucking using acid though. Why are there fucking scopes? What the fuck is that shit? It increases your accuracy. I know exactly what this is. I just, I'm just a fucking commentating YouTuber and I gotta fucking pretend like I don't know what the fuck's going on. Like I wonder what this cave leads to. Well, I have played the game fucking plenty of times before and I know exactly what it fucking leads to. Or that thing let's players do and other youtubers where they say we instead of just like i did something i do that too in my videos where i say oh we will go here as if you fucking have anything any control over where the fuck i'm going all right this is epic epic as fuck i want to turn this one into an epic too shit how the fuck that doesn't do it what What if I use like high rarity items? Well, I guess I don't fucking have high rarity items. Well, all right. What about this one? Get it up to fucking rare. That's nice. We'll have a dark orb talisman. That's rare. And let's make a rare fire. Two of these guaranteed success. There you go. You can only hold this many talismans at a time, and two of them are legendary, even though I don't like them, but I'm gonna fucking keep them because they're legendary. I can't get rid of them. Got a lot of fucking coins. 
I don't fucking bother to spend them on anything though. I will spend them soon because in one of these mesas, fucking can I just, you know, I think the boss is like right around the corner though. Fight. As I say, I don't fucking know. There's a place called, say, like, something gardens. And the thing is, they're kind of like a head ground. There's like a bunch of fights you can get into where you, the enemy doesn't do anything. So it's kind of like a practice ground. I think you can even practice fatalities there, so. But in it, you can find Collector, and he sells you an item that just guarantees you XP. And once I bought it, I leveled up like 10 levels. I basically made myself overpowered, because the levels of the fights I was getting into didn't level up. I did, but so I was level 28, so all the fights I was getting into were level 14. And I kind of obliterated. Except for the final fight, because I went to... In the Shanksons laboratory, you fight at the very end a Havoc. As some the resistance against him hardens, Scorpion summons his timeline's fiercest demons to the fight. I don't think Astra Liu Kang told us anything. To break the will of Scorpion's enemies with her unholy Chris. Chris is like a um, blade that's kind of wavy pretty fucking deadly because wavy pattern actually makes it much easier for it to cut the flesh. I mean pattern. Uh, design. This is the skin up for Ashra I was talking about. It's sick as fuck. Oh she turned around, you can't do that. Gonna put on some bullshit on the stage, of course. Oh, I think she put on blindness. Fuck, I don't like it. Not Gara, what the fuck? Can you tell what attack I was doing? That's probably the best combo because it kind of does itself. If I can somehow get it to work. There we go. It goes much easier than the Sub Zero fight from last episode, but she'll put on some bullshit shield now. Fucking see the screen. What the fuck are these attacks? It's really stupid because she all of a sudden has access to attacks she shouldn't have. Also, can I fucking see the screen? I straight up cannot fucking see anything. That take a lot of damage from me, so that's a good thing. Just don't shoot projectiles, you stupid fucking bitch. What is the fucking Mega Man boss fight? Yeah, 
You know what? This entire episode, I did not cook enough damage to pull off a fatal blow. I just realized. Tell me, guys, that I'm doing wrong because I suck a dick at this game. Well, you cannot see shit. How am I meant to play in the game? I forgot how this game looks because the screen was fucking dark all the time. But I shoot her through time and space. I think she can do that to me. Just fucking die already. Oh yeah, we gotta do a fucking Jax fatality. Just because it's funny. Also, this skin for Ashra is dope as fuck. And you get it after this fight. Yeah, this episode's fucking long, but there's like nothing to cut out of it. We got a shitty ass fucking talisman, a bunch of upgrades, new sword for Ashra. Not fucking put a secret fight, I'm sick of this shit. Well done. I just defeated the fucking boss fight. Kung Lao, get the fuck out of here. You gotta be fucking kidding me with these secret fucking fights. I'm fucking tired of your bullshit. At least we got to do a fatal blow at the end. Fatal blow is something your mom does. <laughs> fucking wrong move. Do this shit. Two Kung Lao I'm fighting against. Put up a fatality. I ain't doing a fucking finisher. Fuck this. Get out of my sight. Ah, oh, fuck. What do I do now? This episode's so fucking long. I really thought this chapter was gonna be shorter. Shang Tsung's laboratory feels short, but... I guess it ain't gonna be shorter. It's gonna be about the same. I imagine. There we go, the end. Let's get the fuck out of here. And immediately finish the episode. No time to fucking waste. Got nothing to say. Check this out. Oh look, it's a globe of... Earth. But we're an outworld, so what? Shang Tsung studying Earth Realm? What would if... What would, like, would happen if Shang Tsung went to Earth Realm and just like... Went to hang out in a nightclub or some shit? Would he like it? You think so? I think you would. This place feels kind of short, at least I remember it being, but... See, all the fights are very close, because this isn't a big open area, it's just Shang Tsung's laboratory, so it's kind of smaller. See you fellas in the next episode, bye.